We're at Royal Johannesburg and Kensington Golf Course, home of the Joburg Open on the European Tour, to chronicle a wonderful golf story. This is Mark Keo, the former European Tour golfer, who thought his career was done after a tragic car accident. But he's back, he's back on tour, and he's inspiring us all with his return to the game. So I'm sitting in the rough at Royal Johannesburg, but like Mark, I grew up playing my golf in rural Zimbabwe. Uh, this was pretty much a fairway in Zimbabwe, so I should be absolutely comfortable. So that's a guy who's played one tournament in six years, who is now putting for eagle on his first hole today. You really love his story, but when he does something like that, you just really don't like him very much. Mark, it's just so good to see you back on the golf course because it wasn't that long ago when even you must have thought it just wasn't something that was going to happen. It's good to be back. It's been a, a long five and a half years. You know, with the right leg being broken for, for three years, you kind of wonder, are we ever going to get through it? Go back to, to how this all started. You were playing on the European Tour. You'd played with Tiger Woods. You'd, you'd done some extraordinary stuff. Your golf was in a really, really good space, wasn't it? Yeah, I was. I mean, I, I was obviously very fortunate to be drawn with Tiger that week, and I kind of didn't believe the draw until I had seen it. I burned my hand that week, and I was looking at withdrawing because of the pain in my left hand. And my caddy came running over and said, this is the draw, and I'm like, I found it very hard to believe. And uh, obviously seeing it, I said, I'm going to play no matter what. And that was a moment that I'll, I'll never forget. So you've played at Tiger Woods, you've played on the European Tour, you've done extremely well in South Africa. You're 32 years old, you've got the golfing world at your feet, and then that fateful Friday, what, what happened? I was driving back from the border with a friend of mine, we were driving in convoy. We drove 400 kilometers from the border, another 188 k's to get to Harare. And just before the, the accident, there was an oncoming police car, and the front left light blacked out like someone had walked in front of the light. Instantly I knew there was something on the road. So I basically stopped accelerating, put my foot on the brake pedal, and next thing I know the, the car is right in front of me. I kind of blacked out for 30 seconds, and my, my mate Dean Schultz, who came back, he ran back screaming my name. I woke up, I undid the seatbelt as the, the car was on its roof. And I remember him saying that uh, the car's on fire, and I said to myself, I'm not, I'm not gonna die like this. And uh, I lifted my left leg, and all I could see was my left foot hanging. It took 18 hours to get to Joburg to get proper medical treatment. How many operations, and, and what are you made up of at the moment? I've had 27 operations. Um, in the right leg, I broke five titanium screws, and they reset it. Uh, managed well they did they didn't they reset it and it wasn't straight so then after that I managed to break the steel plate so they redid it again with the broken screws in the leg but uh, they made it three centimeters shorter to make sure it'll join um, I suffered with <laughs> <laughs> I'd suffered with a post-traumatic depression and I had to get psychological help, medication. But you know, it boils down to the people around you, my wife, my family. The big step was getting back onto the Sunshine Tour. What was it like stepping onto that first tee box in Harare, back on home turf? Um, it was six years since I last played the Zim Open and standing on that tee box almost felt like it didn't happen. It was a distant memory. With playing and realizing how far we have come, it's a, it's a goal that I have reached and my next goal is to become golf fit. So play as much golf as I possibly can. We're only playing nine holes this afternoon and through eight we're all square. Mark's been very generous in giving me some putts. So this is the hole to decide which illegal immigrant amongst the two of us is South Africa's best Zimbabwean golfer. Give you the big 
Dimitri. <laughs> well played. Nice. <laughs>